Operation 005, Mount Ogato, Lost City of Lowrule. Team, we've managed to defend three super reactors, and the good professor has employed his subspace stealth circuits to stash the statues where Geth Jerk will not find them. Unfortunately, the enemy is rapidly closing in on the remaining two. Weren't those supposed to be top secret locations? What gives? Exactement! It is a secret! No! When intelligence leaks, it is usually me! The next operation will take you into the depths of the jungle surrounding Mount Ogato, an active volcano. There, you're to infiltrate the ancient ruins of the lost city of Lowru. That's the last place I'd expect a super reactor. And the kid? Somebody please tell me he's locked up. We are too. His hate for the gift jerk is blind. Uncontrollable. I shudder to think what he will grow into. You and him both. Gift jerk beat us to the punch, huh? Color me surprised. We've arrived at the Ogato jungle. Get to work, wonderful 100. You have to stop the enemy demolition team and defend the super reactor at all costs. Roger. Team, fall in. Roger. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and I'd like to welcome you all to an episode of Pikmin 3, where we are now taking place in the jungle in the deep south, and we look pretty damn miniature. So let's go and get started, shall we, with a lovely change of scenery here. We can go and rescue a bunch of explorers and archaeologists and diggers and excavators of things. Now, last time, I bought the treasure sensor, and in order to kind of tell where it is, P-Star will beep every so often and this is just for stuff in the ground that show where wonderful files and wonderful I almost said wonderful files again and collectibles and geth jerk files and things like that that's um it'll make sure to keep note of those because i would like to do something later kind of showing what happens if you collect all of them i haven't talked much about this because it's actually very unrealistic and i would have to beat the game on the hardest difficulty which is no easy feat but you do unlock some pretty damn cool things so, um, um, it's just weird. It's just lots of interesting characters. Like, I think the hardest one to get in the entire game is Bayonetta. Wonder Bayonetta. And if you're wondering why I'm shooting over here, thank you. There's a Hero Heart fragment. You can use one of these you go, Hugo, whatever things to get over there, but chances are you probably won't make it back because it'll just explode by the time you get there. So, just keep that in mind because it's not very fun to be going across a giant ass waterfall and then falling to your death because of faulty traveling equipment. Not a huge fan. Don't know about you. Don't like it. We're taking that one with us though because I want it. Now, guess what we get to learn here ladies and gentlemen? How to use fire on our hands. It's pretty interesting. You just go ahead and... Oh my god, what is that noise? Christ, I need to switch that person. Who the hell am I right now? Somebody, Jesus. Okay, but anyway, we need to light torches, and this is going to come into play for a couple of puzzles, whatever. Um, so, yeah, let's go and head over here and collect us some lovely, yeah, gotta love me, some sweet-ass, oh, there we go. Can I please, what is that? There's a thing, there we go. That was weird, I don't know what that was, I don't think it was anything. Oh, we got battery bin, we've collected a thousand batteries so far, that is not too bad. Whew, not two batteries. Just kidding. Okay, let's go collect ourselves another thing over here. For some reason, I like putting things in mushrooms. It, it confuses me as well, but that's right. Now, before we get started with the first wonderful mission, there's actually a couple of secrets I'd like to do. Um, this won't come into play very much. Uh, it's just kind of a weird deviation. Ooh, oh, we got ourselves some more baby Doc Ots. They're getting progressively more difficult to kill. Because they're no longer infants, they're letting them <laughs> digest a little bit before anything. Now, what's weird? Okay, you can't cut this rope with Wonder, um, with Wonder Claw. You have to use Wonder Sword to break it open. It's weird, and they automatically join your crew. So that's good. All right, but um, as you notice, there's actually a hole in this dome into Volcano, and what we need to do is bust through in order to collect things and go to a hidden area. And it's kind of annoying. Because it doesn't make any sense. 
So first off, we're actually switching to the bottom screen here. I'm not going to switch uh, audio. But you want to watch out for that lava that's falling down because that, chances are, will probably fuck your detail. And you get hurt by nothing in this. This is the one that I always take damage on for some reason, so let's just take it slow. What did I get hit by there? Do you see that? There's no dodging that whatsoever. The hit detection is abysmal in that. And I have, all my heroes are dead, but there's a guy just waiting here. I think this is Wonder Rock. Wonder Genesis, or what is it? Igneous, or I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, yeah. Wonder Rock from Tanzania. His assignment, Kilimanjaro. God, he looks Hans Jagger. <laughs> Jaeger, Jagger. What the moves like, Jagger. Okay. And yeah, we're out. Okay, cool. Now, this battery here actually holds a secret for us because another you know, wonderful figurine. It's very nice. Alright. There are a couple of wonderful people you can unlock later by using, um, by getting half of the people. So if you collect half of the wonderful files, then you can unlock other people, which do grant different wonder morphs, believe it or not. So it's actually pretty cool, and there's actually another secret over here, I think. But for the time being, for secret mission number two, we've got two dock odds here. Two dock odds, and I'll take care of them accordingly. How the hell did that happen? Oh, also, at the end of the last part, if you're watching from then, I unlocked uh, Unite Spring, so anytime we use Unite Spring, on, or Unite Drill Spring, so anytime we like jump into somebody, it deals a bit of damage, which is pretty good. Um, I like it a lot. It's probably more useful than having Dodge Mine, so if you want to equip one or the other, I highly recommend Drill Spring, because it just does more damage, but there are a couple of points where it sucks. Namely, if you get hit by a spiked object or something that you, or like an armored enemy, if you try and unite spring into an armored enemy, you'll bounce off and all of your characters will die, and I still, to this day, have problems with that, so just keep that in mind. Ooh, ooh, death by gelatin, ah, oh, I feel sorry for you, man. But, oh, what? We, oh my god, I bet you we were like four seconds too late on that, damn it. That sucks. Alright, so let's see, there it is. And it's just food. Oh no, it's a wonderful file. My thing didn't go off. Or figure. That's dumb. Yeah, the treasure center does not help for shit sometimes, so... I don't know. But there we go. I think we've got everything. Look at this water. It, it, this game does a really good job of making you feel very insignificant. I don't know about you guys. Alright, let's try and not get hurt by anything. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I have the volume of my gamepad off, but you can't record um, gamepad audio, actually. Uh, hold on just a second. Okay, never mind. That was really goddamn stupid. I got a stupid telemarketing phone call on my cell, so that's always nice. I've been trying to do a better job about picking up my cell phone nowadays just for future endeavors. And because usually I don't answer my phone, it's like, fuck it, I just know what I want to talk to. Anyway, tall grass, you can actually cut down with your sword, which is actually pretty cool, I think. So, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. And we're gonna go burn all these down, burn all these torches to the ground. There we go. Also collect, who, oh, is this voodoo? No, this has to be samurai or, <gasps> yep, wonder samurai. Tatsunoshin Maironomoni. He's, his occupation is a cultural treasure. That's nice. I didn't know that was something you could aspire to be. Anyway, for activating that lamp, you actually have a fight here. And this is actually the first mission. I just like collecting all the other rainbow... Rainbows? The other butter... Butterflies. The other batteries before doing this. I'm sorry. This is the first recording of the day, and I am a little bit out of it. Had to go to the post office and uh, get my passport situated. I don't know if I told you guys about this, but I'm planning on taking a little trip. And it's taking us, like, a month to get everything put together. And we were supposed to have it situated about two weeks ago. But, um, for whatever reason, we needed to schedule an appointment. So I came in today at noon, and, like, it literally took three minutes to do everything we needed to do to do it. I thought I was going to have to sit down and be interviewed or something, but I literally had to, like, swear perjury that, like, oh, yes, I swear to God that this is my stuff, which it, it obviously and clearly was. And I had my ID, my birth certificate, my old passport, and, oh, yes. And that was good. That was good stuff. Again with the time! Did I miss that by one second? God damn it. Hey, but, um, yeah, we finally got that taken care of. It's just like, ah, uh, government offices are the worst. Uh, we have Wanda Beetle, the Manus Beetle Gauntlet. He's an elementary school student. 
<laughs> what are you doing in Brazil, you silly goose? So I think that's everything. We just need to go and collect those guys and then also collect the rest of our fire that we require. Yes, the fire that we required. I'm on fire. And yeah, it's actually to open this secret temple inside of a volcano. So that's that's pretty nice. It sucks you can't run with your flame hand because that would make things a little bit easier. So we'll head inside. And you know that the first thing you do when you enter a temple is to desecrate all of the holy statues that wait here. Also random alien imagery around. It's like, come on, come on, what is this? Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull or whatever. I don't know. But there we go. There we have it. We are good to go. Now for a new enemy that I absolutely hate, ladies and gentlemen. I... Alright, here we've got ourselves Kotuniki's, and these guys are annoying because they're basically going to use Wonder Morphs against us. But they're like a little bit more powerful. Now that's really good. Getting Wonder Guts while he's using his fist is very good. And this opportunity where they're all separated, all the cubes are separated, the best time to attack. So, highly recommend it. Alright, but what I like to do is just shoot them from afar and just continue a multiplier. Oh, watch out for this! Okay, you can't really guard against that, so be careful. So just, you know, go from afar and just, you know, attack that way. Deal preliminary damage. Once you've done enough, you will be able to... Come on, come on, right here. There we go. Do a lot more. Just keep an eye out for their Wonder Morphs. They can do, like, Unite Gun, um, Unite Whip. You want to be especially careful for... This one is really dumb. Uh... That one is hand, which is not too bad, but I still like to stay away because sometimes he'll just go into whip and then murder you effortlessly, immediately. What was? What did I even collect there? I think it just gave me a cake. Okay. Ooh. And also sometimes they'll strike like bombs from the sky, I think, or no, electric strikes. So be careful for that. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I don't think we've used this enough, but holy shit, what did I just get? I got Wonderful Rising with Unite Gun for the first time. That's actually kind of annoying to activate on accident. Ooh, he's almost dead. Let's just avoid this guy. Okay, sweet. Now let's take care of the rest of these things. There we go. Oh. I will admit, though, this enemy looks badass as hell. It's probably one of my favorite character designs in this entire game as far as enemies go. And they're definitely very unique. Just look at that death animation, man. Holy shite. And we got a pure platinum. Later on, we're going to be fighting one of those. I don't know why they always start us off doing that, but I think that's the first time I've ever beaten one of those without getting hurt. So I'm pretty I'm pretty glad about that. All right, so this is where things are going to start getting weird in terms of collectibles. We have to start throwing Wonder Liners into people's mouths. First one starting here. Excuse me. Thank you. There we go. So for Wonder Figurines, the things the things I do for, for collecting things in video games. There's some people over here. When did we collect 101 people? I don't know. But hey, we got ourselves a platinum coin. It's number two. How you doing? 